bomber plane wreck that the Yanks crashed here in 1945, I think it was. It's beautiful Betsy, and there's apparently the whole back of the fuselage and everything is still there. It should be really cool. It's a bit of a four-wheel drive track to get there. Then about an 800 meter walk, so it's compared to yesterday, it's gonna be pretty light on. But we'll see if we can find this sucker. dam and it is the home of the big fishing classic that they have here every year apparently it gets massive lots of species of fish and everything that they have here they have a blue green algae problem here at the moment but um, it's a beautiful place everyone's here having barbecues and everything and, it, and it's just a normal kind of a day so it's a really lovely place to hang just come around the other side of the dam here and there's cottages that you can rent out and what a beautiful spot there's fishing skiing and a view like that
that was a bit of a fail. We've come a fair way in and we've come across a locked gate. That's an issue. I don't know why they made it so hard to find this damn thing. Okay, fail with that, but we did find McCoy's mine. <laughs> Old gold mining uh, area around here, and that's McCoy's mine. It's not a bomber, it's not a crashed American plane, but we'll take it. <laughs> Beautiful country. Yeah, okay, well we just called in to the big four, asked for directions, yeah, let's do something crazy and ask for directions. Yes, they told us that it was about a six hour round trip, so it's pretty late, it's 12 o'clock, but that gets us back six hours, ah, well, let's give it a go, let's give it a go, we've come this far, we're not going to give up now. Dropping the tyres down to 30, they were sitting at highway levels and this is just way corrugated and trying to smoothen the ride up a bit. Okay, gate two of apparently six. This is turning into quite an adventure. The road is so corrugated out. Uh, tire pressure drop did help. Yeah, we'll see where this is gonna lead. It's getting late, it's heading towards two. We'll see how we go.
we're we'll getting to the nuts and bolts of it. In four wheel low, second gear, and it's rough as guts, which was to be expected. But by the looks of this, we're nearly there. So all the effort is gonna be worth it. It's gonna be cool. made it to the lookout and boy this is crazy high this is like top of the world high big signs everywhere vertical cliff people have died here so there's um yeah it's be careful time here is some of the reason we came here by the looks of this. Oh, whoa. Just over there, the road goes right next to that sheer cliff, eh? If you stuff up, game over. just about made it.
So far, so good. Let's go. Okay, this finally looks good. <laughs> there's definitely, yeah, there's a fuselage there. Geez, the poor bug is crashing here. I don't know how they would have got out back in those days, even if they did survive. And maybe some did, we'll see. worth the trip about two two and a quarter hours of slow driving uh, low range stuff fair bit of low range stuff in between like forestry trail stuff so if you're ever out this way give yourself like six or seven hours to do this trip because uh, unlike us, we got caught out with time. And now, lights getting low. Looks like a bit of rain. You don't want to be on these tracks in the wet. And we've got about two and a half hour trip out of here. And I mean, this is remote. <laughs> this is remote. Have a go at this. All right. Wow. Come and see it. It's quite emotional. Okay, a car park. Only mad dogs and Englishmen up here at this time of the day. <laughs> Should 
Should be a fun drive home. But can you believe this? Are you crapping me? <laughs> you can actually get mobile phone reception here, somehow. just went to the um, mobile phone signal and went, yeah, right. So, so there is no mobile phone reception up here, as nor there should be. just came across this, the wall camping ground. You can be guaranteed to have this all to yourself.
Had a good night's sleep, got home late. That was a wild ride yesterday. That was like uh, two and a half hours of full-on corrugations. And yeah, everything held up really well. No loose bolts and everything, just done a bolt check. And that's it for our stay here at Kenya. And we'll go for a slow cruise back to Sunshine Coast. See if there's anything on the way. Kenya Gorge, lovely place. Okay, just over here we've got a camp kitchen. Uh, pretty well decked out this place. It's a bit old and a little bit tired, but let's give you a quick squeezy at the camp kitchen. also cabins that you can hire. People are starting to pour in, there's a long weekend apparently. Happens to be called Easter. <laughs> Two pools here. Nearly every site has a camp ring, but it's sort of just select your own. There's two here. They're like little en suites. You've got the both toilet and shower in there, and thus super clean, never line up. But that lot down there, mm -hmm. bit bit smelly, bit old, tired, and always a line up. stop around here and check it for stickers. We like stickers. <laughs> we do. <laughs> museum in Monto on the way and have a look what we got. After seeing that yesterday it's <laughs> that's kind of weird. That's that's what it looks like. Crazy. the tail section that we saw. Old school gold stamper. Crushes the rocks. Hooked up to an old tractor. 